Hello everyone, Neon Jigglypuff here, and welcome you back to another episode, or welcome to, I don't know why, I always said, have you noticed that? I've always said, welcome you, and not welcome to, or welcome back, I mean. I, that's actually kind of weird. Welcome back to the episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Do I almost said super, you heard the S, I was hesitant, I almost said it, but yeah, now it's time to start the next episode. In the last episode, we went to Professor Frankly, and he told us to go find the next area called the Mowgli Woods, as far as I remember. If he didn't say that, then I just spoiled the next area. Oops! But before I do that, I kind of want to explore around first. If I don't see anything important, I'll just skip ahead. Oh, that's not important right now. Let's forget about him. Uh, the inn, nothing special. There's Toad's Worth, but... Ooh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. I remember. There's a few things I want to do before I actually progress with the story. Because if you go up here, you can see a bad shop run by two Monty Mice. Let's see over here. A big, wel a big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely house of badges. Welcome. So what can I do for you? I'm buying. Press A. Okay, so let's see what these badges do. Uh, simplifier. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Ally. Okay, so it's... P. Nope, don't want that. Mars in danger because enemies are sometimes missed. That can come in handy. Get more star power and Mario appeals. Oh, I don't have enough points for that. I might come back and get this later, though. But before I do that... Before I do that again, I keep saying that. Uh, you know what? Let's go explore the ruins. The ruins? It's kind of weird way of saying it. Wait a minute! Wait. There's something I have to do over here first. Let's go over here, actually. Freeze! You two! Not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk bumped into me and made me drop my contact lens or lose it. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! Uh. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch, you hear? Are you here? So we can't move at all. Um, uh, okay, sorry to bother you, lady. Oh. Uh, you idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Do you, don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? No, 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 I didn't do it. This is all your fault, and now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it! Cup and cent cent Say, I mean, come and say me, Mr. Clumsy. That guy just walked. He just, he just like, oh, he just, no. You see that guy right there? He walked up. And he's like, nope, I'm not dealing with this. Nope. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's my plan, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. So yeah, this crazy old woman, and yeah, this is a woman, by the way, and she's very, very stubborn, and she's, she won't let us pass. She's like that guy in Ocarina of Time. So yeah, now we can't get past until we buy her a new contact lens. So let's go to the shop and see if they have any in stock, hopefully. Welcome, yes. Welcome to the Toad, Bra Toad Bros Bazaar. Huh? What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. Gee, fella, I'm sorry. We don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. But I can special order one right away for you. It'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Okay, so we, uh, unfortunately, they don't have any more, uh, contact lenses, so we can't actually do anything about that, unfortunately. But you know what? That's fine. You know what? They're gonna special order one, and we'll get one later. So for the time being, we can't actually go to the west side of the... Ooh, I can't buy any more items. I don't... I can't carry anything. Maybe I can store a few things. I'll be right back. You know what? I'm actually pretty good item-wise. I don't really need to store anything. So I'm just gonna leave. You know what? But there's still more I want to do before I actually go on with the story. I believe I missed a few, like, star pieces around the town, so I'm gonna go look for... Okay, then! If I see any more star pieces, I will show them on camera, so don't worry about that. You'll still get to find out where they are. Didn't mean to talk to you, Gunter! I call him Gunter, don't worry. Ooh, I actually forgot about this guy right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up now! You're an outsider! Past this point is a turf of the in What? 
Is, sna is snail head? I, I don't know what that is. It's probably something really easy. I want to say Ishnail. Head of the Robos! It's 10 coins to pass, though. If you try to pass without paying, I'm afraid I'll have to whip you up, but... Wait, what? Whip you good? What? Whip you but good? Whip you but good? Okay, that's kind of weird. Um... I can take you! What? You gotta be kidding me! You think you can fight on your way through? I'm gonna make you eat those words, tough guy! Let's get this party started! And here we have an optional party- party? An optional boss. Mini boss. Uh, ooh, I should've had Goombella out to start with. Oops. Sorry, Koops, gonna need Goombella here, and I'm gonna need you to tattle on whoever the hell this guy is. That's Gus. He's a super annoy- he's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everybody. His name's just Gus. HP is 20, attack is 3, defense is 0. He's- all in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pointy spear- oh yeah, so if you try to jump on his head, it will hurt you, so, uh, yeah. You know. Oof! I didn't even- I didn't even block that. Okay, so this guy's pretty tough. 20 HP, he has more than what we have, and- and Miss No Arms over here. But, he's a mini boss, he's optional, you, if you do pay, he will let you pass forever. But, uh, yeah, it's best to battle him because, you know, more experience points. As for- Goombella, I'm gonna have to switch you out to Koops because you can't do anything to this guy. So, uh, yeah. Oof! I did- I blocked that, I don't care what you said, I blocked it. I'm gonna get you to go in front. Uh... Just Shell Toss, that's all we need to do right now. And it does three damage now instead of two. Super good! Oh, I almost jumped. Okay, that's not good. You know what? We haven't used the mystery. Wait, food? No, you know what? I want to save the mystery for something a little bit later. Hmm. What do we have? I have this pal block. Might as well use it. I'm not going to use it anytime soon anyway. Boom! Bo oh. He's not immobilized. Ooh! I, I tried to counter a shy guy. What are you doing? He's gonna do some- Ooh! Ooh, he's helping us! But now he's electrified, so we can't actually make con- We can't do a physical attack on him now! Ooh, you know what I can do, actually? I forgot, we had a crystal star now. We can use this attack? Let's do it! First crystal star, let's actually use a crystal star in battle now, let's show it off, because why not? First crystal star, you press A at the right time. And then you'll power up. It's pretty simple. It looks simple, but it gets harder as you go. Like, faster. See ya? And you gotta be spot on, too. If you're late or early, then you're screwed. Ooh, excellent! Yeah, it, this is a really OP attack, and it's good for most of the game, actually. I don't... I think this counts as a physical attack. I'm gonna try it, but Koops may get hurt from this. Oh, he didn't? Okay. And he's already over, he got 20 experience points for that, so I gotta say, battle him, it's worth it. You get 20 experience points from this guy. Crow, you dumb the video game heroes always pull this stuff off, ridiculous! Uh, breaking the fourth wall. You think sil silence vol- I almost said silence volves everything. Silence! Violence solves everything, don't you? Huh, don't you? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, let's see what's in here. Let's lock from the inside. And I believe this is something else we can do later on. Okay. I'll explain this room a bit later, because we don't need to do this right now, because I kind of want to go on with the story, or do the other thing first, because I want to do some more stuff before we actually go on with the story. There's Luigi. We already know his story anyway. It's been 10 minutes already. Of course, I have to, like, edit it out some, like, some parts, so maybe it's, like, 8 minutes for you, but, yeah. Still have to check a few things out, so in the meantime, I will skip ahead until I find what I have to- or, or what I'm looking for, I mean. Ah, here it is. Here, I've been looking for you. Hello, welcome, I'm Merle, underground cooties can be. A fortune teller, that is me. That is me. Lucky for you, coming here is fortune- okay, you know. Okay, let me explain what she does. She will charm you. In battle and stuff like that. So, like, say she'll give you some some nice perks every now and then for for a certain price. Like, say for example, you pay her ten bucks or ten coins. I mean, at random times in battle, she'll like boost your attack stat for one turn. She'll give you like a more experience points. 
she'll give you more coins afterwards, or like she'll give you a free item. So it's really nice to have throughout the entire, uh... Wait, what? Is this... Wait a minute, I did this before! Wait a minute, this is the wrong fortune teller then. I'm looking for a different kind of- Oh! Ooh, this is kind of embarrassing. I'm not even going to show this right now. Ooh, I'm not even- This is not even going on. This is not even going on video now. I'm not even showing this. No way, no how. Am not, am not! Oh, well, I'm dumb. It's right here. Two of the things I was looking for are right here. But anyway, wait. I knew it! There's something behind there! But I want to talk to you. My name's Dazzle. I'm a star piece collector, or I and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, you have any star pieces? I'll trade you my badges for them. Yay! Come on, let's trade. Which badge do you want to trade for? So this guy has some pretty good badges, and ooh, okay, I have, I can afford the one that I wanted. So this guy always, this is what you spend your star pieces on. These badges, and. Trust me, trust me, you are going to want all of these. They're all really good badges. This is one that I've wanted. Let's see, Peekaboo, it makes all the enemies HP visible so you no longer have to tattle them. I'm buying this because I like to see HP. So yes, I'm gonna buy this one. And I will also buy Attack FX Y because why not? I already have a, a star piece, so let's buy it. Now, let's go and equip those badges, I think. I don't think I have, I have enough point, blech, points for them, so I might have to... This is free. Sound effects, and then, uh... Let's see, Peekaboo costs two, so I'm gonna have to... Wait, so when's my next level up? Let's see. Okay, I'll level up fairly soon, so you know what? I'll equip those a bit later, or the other one a bit later. But in the meantime, I've been looking for you! Ah ha ha, welcome Mario! I'm her lovely, the lovely fortune teller. My amazing ability. Okay, so what she does, I explained it once before, but I explained it in the wrong fortune teller, so I kind of made... I, I I made it dumb. I made it dumb. So you know what? What she does is she gives you certain perks, like in battle. Like, say, for example, she'll boost your attack stat for one turn. She'll give you extra experience points or coins. Or maybe a new item. It's completely random when it happens, but it's nice to have. Very nice to have. And... Wait, what? Wait a minute, huh? I thought... I thought that you perked us. Wait a minute. What? Did I do something wrong? Maybe I did go to the right fortune teller and I'm just made. Oh my god, you know what? I'm keeping this in. I'm keeping this in for free. I gotta go with a... No, it's this one, isn't it? It's this one that I ignored. Wait, no it isn't. Wait, what? Oh, you know what? I'll be right back, guys. I'm an idiot. This is the one I was talking about. This is the one I went to at the beginning of the game, but I ignored it. Ugh, this is the one I meant to do. This is the one that gives you perks and stuff. Well, anyway, let's watch this cool little animation. Now we've been charmed in battle, we will win with style. We'll get extra perks and stuff, so it's cool. Now that I've done everything that I wanted to do, I might... Okay, so I'll, I'll either grind for experience points right now, or I'll just go to the next chapter, because there's really not much I can do. Actually, you know what? Nah, I'll go to the, the next chapter. The problem is... Where is the next chapter? Uh... Well... I'll see you when I find the right place. I'm pretty sure I, I, know where it's, I know where it is. We went there before at the beginning of the series. Oh! Hey, Mario! I, did you see that? That's one of those things Professor Frankly mentioned. Hmm. And the thing is, we can go over here. But I kind of want to battle these things first. A it's dead, and I forgot to show you the sound effect that we got. We got thing, and you know I, I bought it because you know it's it's fun. Why not? Well, anyway, let's actually chase after that little thing that Professor Frankly mentioned in the last episode. And oh, your little guy, don't be scared. Eek. D don't eat 
eat me? Huh? You didn't come here to eat me? And you're not bullies? Guess again, nerd! Of course not. For real? Phew! Boy, that's good. I thought for a second I, I might have an accident. Oh. Uh, aren't you one of those creatures from the Boggly Woods? Why are you down here? What? Why do you know about me? No! You must be... You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here! No! It's the end! x knots What the heck are those? They sound like tissues to the extreme or something. Look, they're not here to do anything to you, so relax! What's going on, okay? Or tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. <laughs> so, I came all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in a great tree? Or in the great tree? If those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the crystal star! Now that you mention it, they did say something about some crystal star thingy. But we punies know... But we punies don't know anything about any crystals or stars. Wait, say, could you guys help us out? And maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you, uh... What was it? The crystal star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the Elder will agree. What do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Oh, oh yeah. Really? You're not joking? You'll do it? Um, I guess we should. I feel, I feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we do need to get the Crystal Stars before those x knots do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name's Punio, pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. Uh, Punio, I hate to break it to you, but we're too fat. Wait, hang on a second. What? I'm sure the elder said some button was around here. Some button around here opened a secret entrance. Aha! Ooh! Neato! So he's cleared a way for us to go. Is there anything secret here? Oh! Oh! I knew it! Damage dodge. Oh! Decrease damage by one with a guard action command. Okay. How much does that cost? Or how many? Not badge points does that cost. Let's see. Two. Okay, so I'm gonna have to upgrade my BP a bit. Later. Twice. I'll do it twice, maybe. You can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry. And now he's following us. He's our little partner now. And that pipe looks really cool, too. Chapter 2. The Great Boggly Tree! So the Boggly Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, alright. What are we gonna run into next? Um, okay, just a bit further, and we should be able to see the great tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too. Come on, guys, let's go. Now, as you can see here, this place... I love the aesthetic of, of this chapter. It looks absolutely beautiful, and... Yes, now you realize this is not a generic Mario game. First, like, sure, the first chapter was a grass world, and... You might have thought that, oh, chapter two is going to be a desert world. No, we have an enchanted forest with, which looks absolutely beautiful. The music's very calming. But here's the thing. This is actually my least favorite chapter of the game. It looks beautiful, I know, but I hate this chapter. I don't hate it, but I just don't like it as much as anything else. I just... It's my least favorite. It's a pretty chapter, though. Just not my favorite. It's my least favorite. Anyway, 
<laughs> Time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm-hmm. A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map of the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends anyway, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. What's that voice I gave her before? But you're right about our goals. <laughs> if my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get to that map. Hmm? What's this now? If at the end, what's that you're fawn- Wait, what? What's that you're fawning over there? Oh, wait, you mean this? I found this near that tree over- over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was- it's a necklace, okay. It's, it's a necklace, okay. He was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. Hmm, Vivian! For shame picking up someone's scraps. Disgusting, greedy! But enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat, bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus. <laughs> Eep, what? I, I don't have it. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You are in charge of it. You wretched little worm! Blaming me for something you probably screwed up! But I... Goo huh? goo! What is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf! Save your games for later! Now, where was I? You, Vivian! Don't tell me you lost our precious sketch! But, listen, I, I... Look, it's not my fault! I never had the sketch! Silence, you dits! Such impotence! How dare you talk to... How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child! It's clear to me that the only rational your type understands is force! For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry! But, but, Beldum! Oh, you're horrid! Ooh. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna get away from these people. Ooh, wait. Forgot. Always hammer the trees. And sorry for all those cuts in between the dialogue. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Wait. Actually, no. New battle! New enemy! Let's fight it. Sorry about all those cuts in the dialogue. My cat kept meowing and screwing it up, and then, yeah. It, it sucks, but you know, she's my cat. What are you gonna do? I get distracted way too easily. I should probably stop. Oh, we'll equip those badges later because we, I want to see the HP, these creatures, but we can't right now. But don't worry, guys. We got that badge, and as soon as we, we level up, we'll be able to see them. So, yeah, it's gonna be good. And I burp. So, excuse me, I just ate a banana before video. Pause. Oh, I almost got a mushroom. I would have had more HP. Ooh! I dodged it. Or not dodged, I blocked it. Koops can give us a honey syrup, I guess. It must be... Oh, crap. Maybe I shouldn't have used that, uh... <laughs> that pow block. Okay, honey syrup. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Koops! I mean, either way. I guess uh, Mario can use Quake Hammer now. Can I counter? Oh, I tried to counter it, but it didn't work. Mario's in danger. What is it? Oh, it's a mushroom. Oh! Oh, thank you, Dry Bones! Thank you so much. You see that? that that's a nice Dry Boner. Dry, dry Boner. Dry Boner! We can give the mushroom to Mario. And then he won't be dying anymore. Thanks! Your mushroom went to good use, Dry Boner. Now. Let's power smash this fool! Hop. Hop. Stylish! Stylish! Oh. And he's dead. We got seven experience points, or is that eight? No, it's seven. Oh, only five more to go! I guess only one more battle can do this. We can level one more battle. Good, and there's one more thing right there, but I want to see what's in this tree first! Oh! That was awesome. And it's time for level up! Yes! Time for badge points. Remember, don't spam A. I'm not going to spam A, because if I do, I'm going to do HP by accident, and I want to do badges. All right, time for BP. Six to nine. Six to nine. Six to nine. Okay. Now, ooh, we got some more HP too. Good. Good. Now let's go equip those badges. P 
peekaboo. And we have one. We have one more. Last stand, P. I I mean, we, we might as well. Wait, let's see. Do we have anything else that we don't need? Close call. Last stand, P. Nah, why not? And I guess next time I'll do bait. I'll do uh, BP again. What is this? Ooh, a honey syrup. Okay, just a random honey syrup here. Don't know why it's there, but it was. Now we don't need to battle anymore, so let's get out of here. And I think. Wait a minute. Is this a safe spot? Oh! There! Can you see it? That big tree? Yes! That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Oh, of course, it's not just us in, in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. And my cat's meowing again. I, I don't want to cut out your meat. Wait a minute, I see a little thing right there. But you know what? I'm going to end the episode off here because I think it's been a while. I think we're coming up on time. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, as usual, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, favorite, and comment. And, you know, the most important thing. Thank you, guys. i got to say thank you. It's the most important part. For watching this episode of Paper Mario Thousand Your Door, I said it all backwards. I don't know why. I keep doing that. And, um, yeah. Question of the day. Do you think this chapter looks cool? Or, like, what's your opinion on chapter two if you if you have this game. Personally, I don't like it. It's my least favorite chapter, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. Like, what would you say, or how about this? Would you live in a forest like this? Like, would you live here? I say it looks pretty enough. I wouldn't live here, but I'd visit all the time. Or maybe I'd live near here, and like, I'd always come back to visit and be like, oh, this is cool. Because I love this. I love the aesthetics. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I want to know what you guys think. So tell me in the comments. And with that all said, I hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you later, guys.